One, two, three, boo boo cheese, big smile. Oh, let me just light a little bit before. Say hello to the All right, ready? One more time. One, two, three, boo boo. Leg, leg down, boo boo. All right, wait. Uh, closer, boo boo. Go, go, go. All right, one, two, three, look here, cheese. Look, cheese. Too big. No, that's a fake cheese. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, cheese. All right, oh, and go. Hello, Blockin Hello, Blockineers. Today we're going to unbox and demo Mel Physics Rheoscopic Fluid, and this is a monthly subscription box. If this looks interesting to you, wait. no, that's not what we usually do. All right, no, uh, it's this. Set and go. Hello, Blogineers. Today we're going to unbox and demo Mel Physics Rheoscopic Fluid. This is a monthly subscription box that. This is a monthly subscription box that. Wait, no, you, this is, not this one. This. I didn't say this is. This is a monthly subscription box that teaches you. That yeah, lets you do experiments at home. This, this is a monthly subscription box that lets you. To experiment at home, and if this looks fancy, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Okay, that's way too fast. <laughs> a sort of a uh, so science experiment at home. Okay. One more time. This is a monthly subscription box that lets you. This is a monthly subscription box that lets you do. Ex this is a monthly. <laughs> All right, I'm doing it. No, I, this is a monthly subscription box that. <laughs> All right, I'll say the first part. Ready? This is a monthly subscription box that lets you do science experiments at home. And if this looks fun to you, purchase this at the link in the description. Say your part again. <laughs> you you skip every other word. No, no, no I don't. All right, right, let's redo everything. Right. Hello, Blockineers. <laughs> Today we're going to unbox Mel... What? Alright. <laughs> okay. You? Go. Yeah. Hello, Blockineers. Today we're going to unbox Mel Physics. This is a Mel... Oh, wait, no. I'm, I'll, I'll show awesome demo. Hello, Blockineers. Today we're going to unbox and demo Mel Physics Rheoscopic Fluid. This is a monthly subscription box that lets you do science experiments at home. And if this looks <laughs> oh. okay. And if this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Okay, one more time because you still skip some words. I did not. I was saying it's slower than clear. Yeah, and if this, you don't have to do it fast. And if this looks fun, I know. I know. And if this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link. <laughs> you said you. Uh, no, I it's too you. No, it's two U's. Oh. If this looks fun to you, <laughs> and then pause. Not if this looks fun to you, you can purchase this. This is. A, um, and, this, and if this looks fun to you, you can purchase this. <laughs> Alright, good. Okay. <laughs> and if. And if this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Oh, what? Like ten minutes. All right, come on. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop, stop this. Stop this. <laughs> that was like, that was like nine. Uh, go. Wait, there's no age. No. Oh, eight plus. Okay. Oh, it's eight. Oh, okay. The age for this is eight and up. And on the back, you can see that this kit comes with three experiments. Turbulence, convection cells, and kaleidoscope, and they each take 30 minutes. This set contains all of the parts we need except kettle, but that's easy. We just need to boil a water or with kettle. Okay. <laughs> we, we 
it should be your first like three forty five. Okay. All right. Opening the box. <laughs> What's so funny, Noli? <laughs> I don't get it. Inside the box, there are these instructional booklets. Or what are these called? <laughs> Templates? Okay. Come on. What? You, you're wetting yourself. <laughs> Come on, you have time in between. <laughs> in between your laughs. <laughs> you're wasting so much time. Don't laugh at everyone. <laughs> that All right. I'm not. I'm still thinking about. All right. Ready? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You have to take a break. Coming back in a minute. What? We wasted like ten minutes. Inside the box, there are these. <laughs> I made it few words. <laughs> Come on! That's you! Lady of the Come on! Come on. Okay, I'll do the box. Are you saying the box? <laughs> In the box, there are three experiments. The first one is called... Oh, here, no. In the box, there are instructional pamphlets for three experiments. There's turbulence. Oh, so it might, like, turb. <laughs> it might turn in there. Turb. <laughs> yeah. And then convection cells, so you can see the <laughs> cell things. And a caleroscope. Which might be like a kaleidoscope, but completely different. <laughs> okay. In this bag, you can see the numbers 1, 2, and 3, which means we'll need them for all three experiments. And here is... Oh. Circles. Okay. Water. Water plus glycerol. And just glycerol. Glycerol is like a... It's glycerol. <laughs> I think it's like a clear liquid or something. No. Or it's a powder. I forgot. It has to be a liquid. It's either a white powder or it's a clear liquid. It's a liquid. This is about fluid. Yeah. Okay. Rheoscopic fluid uh, safety guide, I think. Yeah. Here's a safety guide and an uh, instructional book. <laughs> Hold on, let me read this. Then over here, there are sheets of something. <laughs> yeah, they have like honeycomb shapes of stuff. There are sheets of something. And uh, the regular Melphysics QR code with a thing inside. This <laughs> comes in every subscription box. So and this time... It's over too. 
No, no, no. It's one of those things that you look inside and see things. Oh, you see multiples. Maybe. I was correct. Okay, look. Here's the water and glycerol and stuff like that. Oh, wait. First, first there's plastic. Yeah, there's plastic. <laughs> Some plastic containers. Very cool. Oh, another plastic. There's another plastic thing. It's called a thing. All right. Gloves. Gloves and paper cups. Oh, there's a sheet of something. <laughs> it's a phone sheet. It's a sheet of Maybe something. Stop. Stop. He's like goofing off. I'm not goofing. This is... You're going too far. <laughs> Here's a sheet of foam, which we might use for the to do the experiment on or as part of the experiment. And there's three containers. Violet metallic coloring. Blue metallic coloring. And green. Over here is the glycerol. 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 Oh, see, I was right. Glycerol is a clear liquid. You said it was a powder. I said that it was a liquid. No, I said it's either a liquid or a powder. Don't, don't twist my words. Oh, okay, here's another is... glycerol. Wait, what? That's glycerol plus water. Oh, never mind. This is just glycerol. And this is... Just water. Wait. Just water. Wait, no, you're supposed to. Oh, there's no water in here, though. And this is glycerol plus water. But I think we have to fill our own water. Okay, Google, is glycerol toxic? On the website rxlist.com, they say, glycerol seems to be safe for most adults. When taken by mouth, glycerol can cause side effects including headaches, dizziness, bloating, nausea, vomiting, thirst, and diarrhea. Okay. Glycerol may not be safe when injected intravenously. Wait, what even is the purpose of glycerol? Maybe we'll learn that later. Alright, so it doesn't seem like glycerol will kill you. It will just cause nasty side effects, but that's fine because of course we won't be eating it. So, as with all these experiments, if you do them correctly, then they're completely safe. And do we just get right... Yeah, that's the unboxing, so we're gonna get right into the first experiment. That only took 10 minutes of laughing plus 10 minutes of unboxing. Yeah, did you, did you only. The, oh, oh, oh. Go. No, just stay there, just stay there, please. Just Come stay on, there. I can't. I'm only bumping Yeah, we're just bumping That doesn't look good. And go. The first experiment is turbulence. The difficulty is one, the danger is one out of three. The, wait. the first experiment is, how you say? The first experiment is turbulence. The difficulty is one out of three, the danger is one out of three, and the duration is 30 minutes. Oh, I thought it was gonna be one out of three. <laughs> Safety, carefully revealed it. Uh, Safety. Carefully review the general safety advice, which we did already. Perform the experiment on the underlay and use protective gloves and avoid contact with food and dishware. Thoroughly wash or dispose of any dishware you use. Okay. Step one, use the protective underlay and protective gloves to keep your hands and desk top clean. We already did that. Step one, done. Prepare three liquids media with varying thickness. Water, glycerin, and a combination of the two. So, here is the glycerin. Here's the water. No, no, no. This one's the glycerin. This one's the glycerin with yeah, water. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we need to add the water. And this one's the empty water jar. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to match the metallic coloring with the color of each of the bottles. Oh, we have to use the metallic. 
cup. Oh, wait, hold on. Our first step is actually pouring the water in. So we need room temperature water. <coughs> we need water. Water? Finally. <laughs> Size just enough water to fill to fill one and a half of this one and a half. oh should i just use that huh should i just use that it's empty right that you're holding it uh yeah you could but then this one's already half glycerin oh okay so do they want us to put water in yeah one? this one no this one is completely yeah, I know. glycerin I know. Do they want me to add the water into the half one now? Yes. Right now? Yeah, right now. That's right, so the give me those two, uh, I'll fill them up with water. This one has glycerin. Oh, no. Okay. And the double? This is nothing. Okay, so you sure I'm adding water to all of it right now? Yes. It says that's the full. That's the step. Okay. I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah. Look, if once I add, if it's, if it's not all of it, if I'm not using all of it, then I cannot undo. Um. Oh, well, no, it has to be filled up all the way, but don't fill it up too much. For perspective, this is, this is how high it needs to go. Oh, okay, around to the one? Yeah. So it's hooked up even? Okay, so a little bit under the line. Okay. Okay, I think. You might want to wash the cup after. Oh, yeah. it's not touching anything. Yeah, but maybe when they close it out, they're just wash the cup and fill it back up. I'm not going to touch it. Alright, because you're going to share, right? Once I add it in, then you'll be done. I'll show you the step card. Oh, no, no, no. You don't have to show me. Just. Yeah, it. step two says to do that. Okay. That is how it's so cautious. Oh, it's supposed to be messed up on something. No, they can always resend it. Okay. Right. So you can tell the camera we fill up the. We need the other bottles. The other bottles. Oh, because it's left on the table. <laughs> We'll stop and start the camera. Yeah. Don't touch your face. I know. And go. Oh. So now, so now each of the cups has what they need, or bottles. This is completely water. This is half glycerol and half water, and this is completely glycerol. They all look the same right now, but when we add the metallic coloring, then we'll be able to see the flow of each of the liquids. And the thickness. So, yeah, because the molecules of the liquids move around relatively freely, and their movement separates into distinct flows. So I guess the flow for water and the flow for glycerol is different. All right, ready to add? Wait, do we need to have hmm? pour half? Oh, it says add half? two spoons. Two spoons. So we grab a spoon. Right? Yeah. Because we'll need it for another spoon. All right, ready? Oh. Yeah. So now we um, we, we add the oh two spoons. Are there spoons there? No. 
This it out. Put two spoons in each. This all supposed to be in the box. So we we'll use a whole spoon. Oh, or is it this? Oh, it's right there. Oh yeah. Oh there. Okay, I get it out then. Okay. Spoon. Hey, do it over the mat. So, oh, first we need to open the water. Do it over the mat in case it spills on it. You never know if it's toxic. Okay. This is water. Just water. Tally coloring gets opened up. This is green metallic coloring. Wait, hold on. Wait, let me get a spoon and you dump it in. Hold on. No, this is overflow mm -hmm. spoon. Metallic. Yeah, that's good. That's good enough. Good. Dump it in carefully. Whoa! Whoa! I see some green. Whoa! It just dropped into bits. Yep, it just dropped. It just dropped into bits. Now it's going to the bottom. We need one more spoon for magic. Also, we still have to shake the thing. Do we? Yeah. Yeah, we still have to shake it for the magic thing. Just happening. Hurry, close the bottle. Both bottles, I think. Is it tight? No, that. Is that bottle tight? Because we're gonna shake it. Okay. So we can set this one aside. Now on to the blue glycerol plus water. Oh, open the glycerol plus water bottle. So don't. Just wipe wipe your finger on the mat. Okay. One more. Oh, that's too much. Oh, here we go. Okay. That's enough. No, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And now, the one that is completely glycerol. Open. Go, go. 
पे Oh, this, unlike the other two, this one is not sinking right away. Maybe the glycerol keeps it. Does it? All right. Okay, so, I so now we're done with step one, two, and three. Oh, yeah, a bit of drop. A bit of it is okay. slowly dropping. Step four, swirl the bottles rapidly to create a whirlpool. The thinner water will keep moving much longer than the thicker glycerin. Okay. Wait, first we need to shake all the bottles. Then we're, we're going to swirl. Can I do the glycerin? So actually we're still on step three because before we swirl, we just shake. Let me make sure they're all tight. Okay, go. Shake, shake. Rapidly. Oh, there. There's the purple. Do you see that purple? Okay, no. Now they're all mixed. So uh, now we shake it. Ready? Like... Now twirl it. Hold on. Let me move these all to the side. Three, two, one, twirl. Twirl. Faster. Yeah. With. Okay, so the glycerin one is barely even twirling. Hey. Get your hands off. Well, this metallic powder. Okay, but well, the water things. twirls more since it's thinner, but the glycerin is much thicker, oh. so it doesn't twirl as much. Oh, that's cool. See that? Yeah. Because when you let go. Yeah, glycerol look, doesn't twirl much. And the glycerol twirls. plus water twirls a little bit, and but the water twirls. twirls so much. Yeah, it kept twirling. It, this one, it keeps twirling until now, but this one, if you wait, it's still twirling. See that? Still twirling. Still doing it. Okay, pour the liquids into Petri dishes to observe the flow dynamics more closely. The thinner liquid and the faster, the thinner the liquid and the faster the rod moves. The more swirls in the liquid and vice versa. So... Now they go into the dishes. Yeah. Okay. So. Do it. Uh, go. I'm opening the just water. This one's probably one of the safer ones. Well, it still has metal, and I don't pour the whole thing; just a little, right? Yeah, just put a little. Mm -hmm. You could pour in just like this. Um. Okay, that's good. Oh wow! That whoa! Look at what the metal's doing. It's creating like a pie. I don't think you do all of it. What's the picture in the book? Do you feel it? Uh, okay, yeah, maybe a little yeah, more. It's a little more so that it's, it's even. Yeah, it, it's so thick. It's so thick, like a pie. So for the others to just do about the same length or the same height. Next, glycerol plus water. This one's, this one is a This bit. one will be thicker. <laughs> Watch out, your fingers are dirty. I didn't. Are you sure that's the right stick? Yes. This is the only stick. I love how it makes like a pie thing. Yeah, it's so thick. The water looks, at least it looks thick. Well, this is not water. This is also glycerin. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't twirl. Be careful. We don't want it overflowing since it's thick. Mm -hmm. And lastly, pure glycerol. <sighs> this one has zero water. This one is the da most dangerous to drink. Well, I'm not drinking it. 
Well, this one's well, so, so thick. thick. It's so thick. It's so thick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Keep pouring. We can pour more. No, it's about to stay dry. Watch out. Wow. Oh, it's blocking. Hey, don't don't rub your nose right now, okay? Okay. Ready? Okay. Hold on. Are you completely sure that's the right? This one? is the only stick. Okay. I mix it. Right. Wait. Hold on. Pour. Okay. Yeah. You can swirl it. We'll swirl first. First, the not cold. No, first do the water. One. Why? But this one's the Just thick. do do it in order. Good. There, it's twirling. You can see it. Hey, stop! Stop! Look at that, it's twirl. Okay, next is the half glycerol. This one's a bit thicker. Not, not as much of a twirl. Okay. Lastly, the thick one. Hey, can I twirl it? Okay, okay. Oh, it doesn't twirl at all. It just makes lines that yeah. stay in place. I'm making count. Often when a liquid moves, it separates into distinct flows with specific velocities. Adding metallic coloring can help us observe these flows. If left alone, the liquid will eventually stop moving due to the force of friction, which appears to not, to not only between the bottle and the liquid, but also between the flows themselves. All right. Hey, why is your finger touching a clean part of the table? Just saying, you shouldn't be touching it. All right, yeah. And that is it for the first experiment, turbulence. Honestly, I think seeing it from the bottles is better. But maybe we were supposed to, are we supposed to? No, it's fine. Basically, the main difference is that when you spin water, wait, let me make sure these are tight. I want to spin it. Basically, the main difference is that, hmm, basically the main difference is that when you twirl water, it twirls a lot better than with glycerol because of the thickness of the liquid. Whoa, look at that. What? The powder on, on the bottom. Oh yeah, thanks. You have to mix it up too. Oh, that's cool. Here we go. Hey, stop. You have to stop for it. Oh, wait, hold on. Actually, no. Maybe because we were, maybe because by the time we poured it into the, I think we, it would have shown a little more swirl if we added more metallic coloring to you. But it's fine. We get the idea. Oh, yeah, uh, maybe it's settled when you yeah. pour it a little water. Let's see. Yeah, make sure, should have shaken it up first. Anyway, uh, how, is it disposing? Disposing is just pour liquids down the sink and wash with an excess of water. Okay, that's it. Okay. Take off your gloves, go wash your head. The right. laughing felt shorter no, no. because we were having fun. No. All right, ready? Okay. Experiment, experiment number two is convection cells. Difficulty is still one out of three. The danger is two out of three. And... The duration is 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. this one is water, right? Water. Uh -huh. So safety is the same as last time, except we're dealing with boiling water this time. And 
Step one, we already have, it's the protective gloves and the underlay. Step two is preparing the vapor bath. And we're filling three cups with boiling water. Then step three will be to set the three liquids to heat on the vapor bath and observe closely. The hot water vapor heats the bottom of the Petri dishes. And pretty soon, this heat causes the fluid to start moving. All right, so we're going to put the Petri dish on top of the boiling water. Uh, you want to practice putting one on empty. You want to see how it is on uh, empty. So okay. they don't want to pour it. And how full do I pour hot water? What? How full do I pour hot water in the cup? Um, the, the all the shape. way to the top. All the way? Yeah, because it has to boil it. So you're just going to have to be careful when you're taking it back. Uh, so I put it on the black paper. No, it's fine. Because this is why we have this piece of paper. Is to... Oh, I see. Okay, I thought that paper was for that. Also, Noli, point out which one is water. Okay. Yeah, because I flipped it so the camera can see the word. Okay. Please, you know, every time you're touching the gloves, your left hand is getting contaminated, right? Yes, avoid touching the glove. Then. No. I washed my. Alright, recording now. Alright, we need to be very careful. With kettle. Hold on. Um, uh, can you put it somewhere else first? Yes, yeah, go ahead. Because we're gonna fill the petri dish. Okay, ready? Uh huh. Hey, sit where you want to be and stay still. I know. This so looks. So like... watch out. Just sit wherever, okay? It's more dangerous when you're in an unstable position. I know, I was like, I don't move. Alright, alright. You said watch out. No, because I don't want you to move in later. I want you to stay where you are the entire time. Can you please come back? No, no, no this is normal. Okay. This is something move around. Okay? As long as you don't move around, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine as long as you don't move. If you're moving around, she has a lock in the door. That means you so. have to set. I'm just saying to be careful. Just don't make sudden movements or anything. Okay, ready? I wasn't. Yeah, okay. Gosh, just fine. Alright, I'm pouring in the glycerol. Ready? Here we go. Do you think I should add some more? Wait, hold on. You, you need to be answering me. Brother, do you think I should add some more? This is for the video, Noli. Come on, Noli. Okay, I'm going to shake it. Alright, I'm just going to fill it up a bit more than the last time. Not too much though. That should be good. Brother, do you want to do one? Okay. Okay, do the blue. Hold on, shake it first. Whoa. Shake it up slowly. Pour it slowly. Not not too much at a time. A little more? You want me to do it? Mm -hmm. Until the entire pie is filled. Okay, that's good. Good job. And lastly, the water. Water. Oh, I'm talking about this water, but yeah, bring that over. Here we go. Water, water, water. careful whoa it's a lot more metallic-y than last time yeah in the last experiment we did it wrong because we let the metal sink to the bottom so there actually wasn't much metal right it's a lot better this time 
Oh no, no, no. The point of this experiment is not to swirl. I know. That's what you're saying. No, 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 no. The the experiment is not swirling. Still. Okay. Ready? I'm gonna put it on top. Oh wait, no. Water has to go first. Watch out. Extremely careful. Hot boiling water. Don't spill. It's only hot water. That could put you in the hospital. At least I won't think you're dead. Don't trip on the way out, Dada. Okay. Yeah. All right. And now we're going to settle each one on top. So, uh, okay, ready? Set and go. Okay, I set the glycerol. I set the half glycerol and the water. Oh wait, actually these two need a swab, I forgot. Water goes on this side. Right? Right, brother? Am I? Am I? Mm -hmm. my eyes are uh -oh. Okay, and now we have to wait for for this kind of thing to happen. It should look like convection cells. Oh, I see it forming. I see it forming. Does the camera capture it? Do you see? Like it's moving to form cells. So according to this sheet, the water will be the first to form the cells and then the half water and then the glycerol. The glycerol will come last. Wait, it says 15 seconds, but maybe it'll, it'll take a bit longer. What will it look like at the end? It looks like this. It's kind of already doing it. Oh, it did it. I see the purple and the blue doing it. Uh, maybe because you were swirling it around, but maybe, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, blue I see the most, but maybe it's the color. Where is happening? The green should be the most, but yeah, maybe the color. Oh, the purple did it, I think. Oh, you have to see it from an angle, maybe. Hmm. Uh, Do you wait. want to add more hot water? No, that's fine. So what, is it form a cell? Like, yeah, it should form a cell. Like, like human cell, like that? Like, no, like cell shapes like this. Oh, okay. Maybe you didn't, because you didn't fill it all the way to the top. No, no, it should be, it's, it's more of a stain, so. Do we wait to summer? Winter long? No, see, see? Can you see it? It's kind of boiling. Only the blue dot up. We already see the blue. Or maybe the color, because this yeah. is kind of hard to see. Might be the color, or maybe half and half is the best mixture. So that's why it's good. No, time. because look at the times on it. Oh, the purple takes the longest. Because mm -hmm. purple's got metal, right? They all have metal. No, I mean the, the most. Metal. Glycerin. Yeah, the most. No, not metal. They well, all yeah, have, I know. have metal. Well, you yeah, know what glycerin. I mean? So that one has the most, right? Uh -huh. So maybe that's why it takes the longest. But they, I mean, they all look about the same. Hmm. The instructions never said that you could not twirl it around. The instructions never said. Okay, it's been about a minute. I love oh, actually, look. If I carefully take this off, you can see bubble cells. Whoa. Do you see? Look, it's bubbling cells. There. So I guess it it did happen. Oh wait, or maybe that's just the steam. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna try taking steam. this one off. That's it. It happened. Yeah. It's not 
this thing. It does kind of have cells. If this one has it, it is a cells. Yep, this one has it. What the heck? <laughs> Maybe we did it wrong. They have cells. No, they have it. Yeah, they kind of do. What do you mean, kind of? I don't get Is this. Is your eyes broken? Okay. Anyway, what? Wrap up. Okay. Anyways, that is the. Anyways, that is the convection cells experiment, and this was fun. However, maybe because. Maybe there wasn't enough metal, so we weren't it able to... It happened! Okay. It's just that I was expecting the cells to look like like a grid, maybe. But instead, it, it looks like... It looks like cells! Okay. Alright, <laughs> on to the next experiment. <laughs> With kettle. And, and go. Just, just deal with it. Don't, don't wipe any. Oh, go away. This is the final experiment called Caluroscope. The difficulty is three out of three compared to one out of three for the last two, and the danger is back down to one out of three. The duration, just like the last two, are thirty minutes. And unlike the last two experiments where we were just working with petri dishes, we have to actually assemble something. Yeah, we have to actually assemble a thing, which will be cool because I think we spin it and then we get to see the glycerol water spin. And the other difference is that this time, Brother's nose is extremely itchy. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh, itchy. Hey, hey, hey. What? Itchy. This hand is. Okay. You take my shirt, itch your nose as much as you want, and, and then just. And, no, take your face and itch it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll pick that up. Okay. okay, if you need if you need that again, tell me, but I don't want you using your arms and stuff, okay? Alright, we're going back to okay. the Three, two, one, go. Go. Number one, use protective underlay and protective gloves to keep your hands and desktop clean. And this has proven to be very useful. Yeah, as you can see, there's water here. That is cold. cold Assemble the central part of your setup. Arrange an absorbent napkin on the protective underlay. Why do we have to look at a napkin? Then I, I think we need to dry the protective underlay for this one. Okay. Uh, come on, nose. Why do you have to itch? At three, at three o'clock. <laughs> right, is this good enough or more? That's about good. It's good? Uh huh. Yeah. So we're going to assemble the central part. We put an absorbent napkin on the protective underlay. This is called a napkin. This, this is called a napkin. This is an absorbent napkin. So informative. Okay. Here we go. Absorbent napkin is here. Uh, arrange an absorbent napkin on the protective underlay and set the dish on top. Like this. Right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some liquid will inevitably spill on your work surface. Okay. So, we need three spoons of metallic metal. Ready? Mm -hmm. Three spoons. I don't get why it's going to inevitably spill. Like, what does that mean? Does it have a leak thing? Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. <gasps> what happened there? I 
don't know what that is. I want to go wash. That's disgusting. Go wash. I saw it in my mouth. That's like a thing from his nose that looks like an almond. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's even worse. Okay. I don't get why I say that it will inevitably spill. What the heck? Ready? Wet glove coming through. What? Did you wash your glove? No. But it. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah. It's called physics. Well, that's what we're working with. No physics. Okay, ready? Uh -huh. So we need three spoons of green, green metal stuff. Three. Okay. One. Ready? Uh, I just noticed that this glove is not water. Too bad. <laughs> Two. Yeah, I do the last one. Oh, uh, it's spilling. And that has all the... Oh my gosh. I already took it. It's not here. Water. Soak your water. Dry it on here. <laughs> I already said it's not waterproof. Dry it on here. Okay, I already said it's not okay, waterproof. Okay, is it better? Yeah. All right. It's not waterproof. One more drip and you're busted. What? That was a water drop. How am I supposed to know? Yeah. The watering you. And three. Ready? Three. This is not waterproof. <laughs> Guys, this glove is not waterproof. It's not. Most gloves are not waterproof. Well, most gloves I wear are waterproof. This no. This is the first one I wore with that. That's not waterproof. Well, too bad, buddy. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Why do you have to have an itchy nose in the first place? <laughs> no, it was my mouth. Okay, we have the green powder over here. <laughs> and now we need to pour water and fill it to the brim. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, can I get new gloves? That's water, water guy. <laughs> <laughs> can I get oh, water again? No, just regular water. This, this thing is oh, so what? not water. Fill it to the brim. <laughs> No, this thing, yeah. No physics. Can you create waterproof? No. Also, if you need to dry, dry on this thing, dude. It's inside of the glove. How can it uh, go through it? Almost? Fill to the brim. It says literally fill to the brim. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. We're filling it to the brim. What the brim? This good? No, to the brim. Right. The direction says to the brim. Oh, it's okay, it's more. Oh, all the way. So. Yeah, it says some will inevitably spill. So I don't know why they want us to spill, but. Come on, what is that water? <laughs> so if it's spilled, just that's normal. That's what it says. It will inevitably. It's still not at the brim. Right. One more. Come on, it's not waterproof. <laughs> Shush. One more time and you're busted. If you complain. It's not waterproof. Is that good? Whoa. It's so it's so metally. Look at this. Yeah, that's good. Look at all the metal. It's stuff. not water. Okay, ready? Stop, Noli. Right. It's not good for the video. Right, come on. Stop goofing up. I'm done. Right. Okay, here we are. Here we are. This is the water with the metal thingy. And now we have to press it until it clicks. And just remember, some will inevitably spill. <laughs> Whatever that means. That means it's out again. <gasps> like you said, <laughs> it will inevitably spill. Whatever. Wait, it why is it not clicking? Do you have to turn it. <gasps> I hear the click. Oh, click. Oh, click. <laughs> That's it. That's Did it finish it. clicking? 
It said it will. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, it will. It will inevitably <laughs> spill. It's gonna spill to our table. Could you put it more this way? So it doesn't inevitably. <laughs> <laughs> inevitably means it will 100% spill. 100% for sure. Oh. oh, good. This glove. Because inevitably means that you can prevent it, but inevitably means you're, there's no way to prevent it from spilling. All right, here we go. This is something. This is it. I thought it would spill again. It said it would inevitably split up. <laughs> okay, here we go. And now we have to wipe it dry. That's one of the steps. What the Can thing you wipe dry? my glove dry? <laughs> what the hook hook? The sheet or the, the No. No no. <laughs> Step three is remove your gloves. Oh, just really? just thing dry. Wipe this dry? Uh wipe everything dry, including this, but also the, the workspace. Wait, step three is not. Well, can I just throw away the workspace or this is this is a wish? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll just toss it. Because we have more work. I can't here, so yeah, you can. my gloves. Uh, my uh, uh, oh, they're not oh, yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Calm down, though. Oh. <laughs> I love it when you don't understand a word and you think it's completely different, like inevitably. <laughs> In inevitably. And also pesticide. <laughs> it means bug. Pesticide is a poison. No, it isn't. Okay. Step three, remove oh, your gloves. Yeah, step three is remove your gloves. <laughs> Yay! Let me go wash my hands. It's all wrinkly. Hey, don't let it drip. It's Dude. To. Go to the trash can. Oh. Okay. Yay! My hands are all wrinkly now. Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, It feels so good to remove your gloves. Okay. Well, for me, it's super good to remove my Wash your hands and your, and your nearby arm. I was. We have washed our hands for the first time in five, Ages. In, in five hours, and now we're no, less than five. Uh, okay, we need to get things out of here. Those gloves are so wet. But yeah, finally. Thank you for creating the take off your gloves. Step. <laughs> this actually. Wood assembly! Yep. Now we're on to wood assembly. Similar to Kiwi Cup. <laughs> okay. Here. Can you give me the wood? So what's the first step? Can you put the step instruction thing here? I might. Uh, okay, so should we have this? Come on. Hold on. So unpatient. Wait, hold on. I'm trying to. Here we go. Oh, all the little itty bitty itty itty bitty pieces. So we need this. Okay. Watch out. There's so many small pieces here. Get on me. Okay, so we're still on step three, which is the remove your glove step, but also get ready for this. So, what do we do here? So we put this on one. In here, and we grab this to tighten it. Oh, this is like a screw. This is our screw. That's uh, this is so funny how it went from chemical mixing to kiwi <laughs> All right, we're screwing it in. We're good at woodwork because a lot of our subscription boxes have woodwork. Like kiwi cup. Pop, pop, pop. 
I wish this was... Oh, oh, you're using the wrong one, by the way. You have to undo all of this. Oh. Because it's supposed to be this one. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. You gave me the wrong one. Ah, uh, yeah, totally my fault. Okay. Yes, get that mat out of there. We don't need it. We're all of a sudden back to Woodworth. I love Woodworth. This is so where weird. I belong. I don't belong in chemistry. <laughs> well, it's physics because of the swirling thing. Okay, fine. But this Woodworth is a bit different. Also, are you using the right screw? Yeah. You're supposed to use this one. Oh, nobody can do that. Hey, give me a knee. Give a knee. Me? Okay, I, I, I saved you twice. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this video is not good. does not have to do with Sneaky Sasquatch. Oh, Sneaky Sasquatch. Are you doing good? One in. One in. We have two more to go. It might take a while, so time lapse. Two hours later. Still screwing. She looks so much like Kiwi. Okay, and rolling. Sit down, Lily. Why am rolling? That doesn't make sense, but okay. <clears throat> oh, it's time to add the chemical mix. And it goes here. It's water with with. No, just water with metal. No glycerin in this one. And I... Ew. Do I press it down? No. Which way? Yes. No. Yeah. Wait, which way? Uh-oh. I'll call this an evilly spill or whatever the word is. Wait, which way do which way does it get inserted? Wait, small insert block. No, wrong way. Wait, yeah, yes, good way. Um, the dish dot on the top. Oh wait, hold on. What does this mean? Top. So you stop here. Dot on the top. It doesn't really matter which way. I think it says this way. No. No, because do you see how there's like a circle? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like this. Okay, next step. Hold on. First it says to spin it. Let me spin it a bit. Mix it. No, it's a spin. Come on, you spun it. Okay. There we go. And then, oh, also remember, don't touch your face anymore because this has chemicals. And it might have leaked to the outside when we were doing things earlier. Drink on me. That's fine. Just don't touch. Uh, okay. Oh, next. Yeah. Now we do stuff. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, this doesn't make sense. Uh, the screw's up here. The screw's. What? The screw's up here. You spit on me, Larry. <laughs> It says here, oh, okay, so you do this, I think you have to flip this, well, no, no, it's, it was fine. Wait, it. wait, 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 I screwed it wrong. Oh, dear. Nobody told me how I was supposed to screw it. <laughs> wait, wait, what? How did you screw it wrong? Nobody told me. How can someone mess up that badly? Wait, what? <laughs> 
I'm so confused. How? Give me five minutes or Wait, minutes. how did you screw it wrong? It's because it did, you didn't tell me how to screw it. What do you mean? I think you screw it fine. No. No? Oh, um, I see what you did. I <laughs> rather completely flopped three spots. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You never told me uh, what to do. That was your fault. Part of the that you fault. Oh, I just realized they don't have a step four on this. There's no step four. It skips from step three to step five. Really? Uh-huh. Step three and then step five. Oh, I think they forgot to put the number in. <laughs> okay, one in. Guess what? Oh, I have 20 more to go. You know what? Put this on short time lapse. Can you? Hold on. Okay, you know what? This might... This part might be a little boring, so from now until the end of step three, uh, which is when we'll have most of the container done, it, it can just be in a time lapse. Yeah. Go. So, he didn't actually do the experiment, <laughs> so I finished building it. Good and job. It, it now just spins when you spin this top, so but when you spin it, Whoa. it all the energy from it, even when you stop it, it keeps spinning. Did you do the back yet? Uh-huh, I did that. What the heck? Oh my gosh, you're fast. Okay, good job. <laughs> so, yeah. What? So, Brother did step five, too. Oh. Oh. And see? Okay. It keeps moving. Then we're done. Okay, so basically what we did, what Brother did is he assembled the wood and with the... What? So basically what Brother did is he assembled the wood by connecting the pieces with screws and... Uh, the spinning thing on the bottom has, what's this called? It's a metal thing oh, yeah. and foam. Okay, yeah. There's foam and a metal thing that allows the wood propeller thing to spin on the bottom. Or the top. You can also spin the top. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can spin the top. That's cool. And, of course, the best part is what you can see inside. As from the past two experiments, we learned that water has a better flowing thing than glycerol. So there's no glycerol in here because with the water, we can see the swirling action better. Like that, uh, when you stop it abruptly. Whoa, okay, let's show it to the camera. Wait, hold on. Oh, oh wait, this camera is recording it? Yeah, it does too, so. All right, let me try. Come on. And it's Whoa, it comes to a halt. Okay, that's cool. That's for me. So this one's like half and half? I'm going to read something. No, this one's just full water. Full water. The device you just assembled is called a kaleidoscope. It was invented by artist Paul Matisse in 1966 to create objects of art. It can be translated from Greek as an object to see beautiful flows. You've made a freely rotating kaleidoscope. When you spin the vessel, friction causes the liquid inside to also start whirling. By spinning the vessel continuously in one direction, you can make the outer layers move faster. It seems as if the inner layers are dragged after the outer ones, resulting in a beautiful vortex occupying the whole vessel. If the liquid inside reaches a rather high speed and the vessel abruptly stops rotating or starts moving in another direction, you can observe more turbulent flows. They are responsible for the most intricate patterns in a kaleidoscope. The same behavior can be observed 
at a much larger scale in the atmospheres of a certain type of planet, the gas giant. For instance, on Jupiter, distinct atmospheric layers rotate with different speeds to create a stunning, unique-looking surface. Okay, now let's abruptly spin it in another direction. Oh, wow. It creates a vortex. Did you see that? Stop it, and then spin the other direction. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, now. Okay, it's spinning in one direction. And stop, spin the other direction. <laughs> it looks like a tornado. This okay, let's clean it up. fully screwed, though. So yeah, that's fine. Let's clean it up. Okay, so final thoughts and go. And now for our final thoughts. Brother, what was your favorite project? Of this history? one! <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I think this is also the best, even though Brother completely <laughs> constructed the whole thing. Uh, but all of them were pretty cool. I think the hot water one would have been good if, like, the cells were more distinct. But maybe we did it wrong, or maybe that's just how it was supposed to be. And this is also very cool. So, overall, I think that... What's this called? Right? Well, there's bubbles. There's bubbles. Okay. Overall, I think the rheoscopic fluid is better than the last Mel physics that we did. I forgot what it was, but this one is way better. Actually, all the Mel physics are good, but this one in particular was pretty fun. Because it's very cool to add the metal so you can see the flow currents of water. <laughs> It's still spinning. 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 <laughs> Once again, if this looks interesting to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description. Yeah, yeah. This brother is gonna you can purchase this at the link in the description. Bye. Wait, brother is gonna continue spinning this for the next five minutes, but we're gonna go. Bye. Bye.